Why working with a real estate agent is sometimes not the best idea or why should we use a real estate agent is what I get asked a lot. Now from a seller standpoint, I get that. If you don't trust the agent or you don't work with the agent to sell your home for the highest price, you're right, it could blow up in your face or it could not work. One, is that agent emotionally stable? Do they have all their ducks in line? Do they have the experience? Do they have they sold hundreds of homes? But where are they at in life? So you really need to trust where they're at because I can tell you what, with the negotiations on the price and during the 35 hour during the inspection response, those are all on the agent going back and forth, working with the other agent, having no emotion, just facts, and then working with you as the seller to negotiate. Remember, there's gonna be a bunch of push and pull on the buyer side and the seller side. Where's the walking away point? Where's the moving forward point? That agent needs to know how to negotiate, period. And if you don't trust the agent and you're not gonna work with that agent, you're right. That may not be the best situation to use an agent because you have to trust the agent. They have to have the experience in negotiating and then everything will work out. Now, if that's not bad enough, what you also need to understand is that agent can blow deals. If they're not emotionally stable with everything, again, it's coming back to how much stability is that agent at, and then where they're at in their life, their career, everything that's going on. Are they selling just a few homes a year? Are they selling a bunch of homes? Or do they have boots on the ground? Because right now in this market, with the seller's market, it is up and down weekly. I mean, one week it's great, next week it's not. Here's the price now, here's the price next week. That agent needs to know the right prices in those neighborhoods, in the locations. Is the home updated, is it not? Do they give you the advice of, look, if it's not updated but it's clean, the price is still gonna be a little tough to maneuver because right now I'm seeing a lot of buyers only want new cookie cutter homes or at least updated homes because you have to remember Coming in to work on a home right now, contractors are expensive. Most buyers, I will say, I shouldn't say most, but I should say a lot, don't wanna do the work or don't know how to do the remodel work. And then three, it's still expensive. Either way you cut it and it takes time. Do buyers wanna just come in and do that? No, most buyers wanna come into a nice home, already set up, already remodeled. Now, sometimes there's flipper specials. I still see buyers, not mine. Yes, it may not be as high quality work as the old days, but it's a new kitchen. It has hard surfaces, new bathroom, hard surfaces, flooring, paint, all the stuff they want. But is your agent coming in and telling you all this and giving you the right price with what's going on? Because remember, at the end of the day, you can have a home that's worth 500,000, get an offer for a million, let's just have fun with it. I've been told this before, Ron, I can get a million dollars for my home, but if it doesn't appraise, it doesn't matter, especially if that buyer is getting a loan. Remember, 80, 90% of buyers, I would say, are getting loans. That's just me running off the facts. I mean, sometimes there's 20%, 30% cash out there. Right now, it doesn't seem like there's much cash and there's a lot more loans. So your home is gonna need to appraise for the value of the homes around your property. So if you're thinking you're getting 700,000, but all the other homes around you sold for 600,000, or if you think you're gonna get 500,000, but all the homes around you sold for 400,000, and those ones are updated and yours is not, you're in trouble with the appraisal because that's most likely what you're gonna get. And I can tell you what, the home doesn't appraise, it's not likely the buyer's gonna come in with cash to make up the difference. Now that did happen a little bit in 2021, I've seen that. I don't think people are gonna go back there. What's in demand right now that's hot is one story ramblers. Just fly off the market, it's crazy. The prices I've seen on those, I'm impressed. And I even have one myself that went pending in five days and got a little bidding thing as well with it. That's just the reality of one-story homes. Uh, split level two stories, a little slower. There are stairs. That's just the reality of it. We're more of a retirement community now, along with some young and government and this and that with the demographics. But overall, I digress. You need to know and trust your agent. So you need to tell the agent, hey, here's my bottom line. Here's what I need to do. Now, if you don't want to tell them your bottom line and you want to take it as it comes in to negotiate, that's fine. I've actually had it blow up, though, and I'll tell you why, because my client would tell me, hey, my bottom line is this price. I would go back to the agent that has a buyer and say, sorry, their bottom line is this price. Here's where we're at because we're negotiating. They're already way past the bottom line. They're trying to negotiate here. I'm like, look, we can maneuver to about here. And that's what they're telling me to come back to you at. They literally told me this is where they're going to come, their bottom line. Problem is the buyers walked away. They didn't want to deal with that. The seller then says, oh wait, but we would have gone to here. Well, no, you, you said that was your bottom line. So again, that trust of saying, okay, well, here's what we want to respond with. Not tell them the bottom line, but say, here's our response that we'd like to go back to. 
So I train my sellers now to say, look, we can go back. What would you like to counter back at? And I do this a lot with my aunts, family, friends, just did it with my aunt, had another client that says, I want you to treat this like you treat all your parents' homes, rentals, investments. And that's what I did. And pending five days, a little bit more, they just let step back. Here you go, do your thing. I reported back. I gave them all the information. I let them make the mis- decisions. I let them sign off on everything, but they let me control the ship and then get it pending and get it sold. It's closing soon here. The whole point of all this is that if you don't trust your agent, yeah, you're right. I don't think you need an agent. Sell it for sale by owner at that point because it's going to be a hot mess. That's my main tip for the day. And make sure that agent you trust and you know where they're at. Emotionally, stability, I mean, talk with them. And if you think you just need an agent, um, call me. I will at least talk with you, tell you what's going on. And then we can have these discussions like, hey, how do you handle negotiations? Well, I report to you what they respond with. We come up with the plan. You tell me what you'd like to report with. I'll give you my advice. But we negotiate with you going back and forth without blowing the deal with no ego, keeping the motions aside and just simple, straightforward back and forth and keeping it professional. That's the whole point of this in real estate. I've seen a lot of stuff go on in real estate where it's all over the board. Trust me. And you want to make sure you have someone that's leveled head, numbers oriented, no emotion, straightforward, here's what it is, and then we negotiate and we work. And what happens if they don't negotiate right and you don't wanna move and they don't wanna move, then the deal does blow up and you go back on the market. But we have a game plan and contingency if that does happen. Now there are ways to maneuver during negotiations that I can go into next time that I have a lot of tips for. I love negotiating because that's the whole point of this real estate is to negotiate especially when agents love to just give free information out. And a lot of them I don't think should. And so you have to be careful again, who you trust, who's going to hold your information and protect you with the sale of your home. Simple as that. Captain Ron out. I didn't mean to make this video so long, but they always do. Have a good day.